All right, what up dudes? I am packing up everything and leaving in like 10 minutes. Okay. Gonna be traveling for a few hours. Should we go get down to South Wales tonight? And then we're staying there with my sister. And then we're driving from there to the boat tomorrow. So today's probably just gonna be a travel day. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice just getting out of the country finally. Well, left England and left Wales, and then went back into Wales. But then tomorrow we'll leave Wales again. It's nice to like leave home, get out. So, uh, there's barely anybody on the train. There's these red signs everywhere that say stay, keep off the seats, keep it, keep it social distance and stuff. Uh, masks are mandatory. And the announcements are all, always say like, this is for essential travel only, blah, blah, blah. What I'm doing is, is essential, but I'll explain that when it gets to the boat. I've been texting my friend from London, and we've been trying to meet up for weeks, or months even, and we haven't been able to do it because of all the COVID stuff. I told her where I'm going. And she says that she's going to be in that exact same place in three weeks. Like, when I arrive, um, she'll, she'll be there as well. So that's fun. I guess we just hiking together. Don't try to persuade my friend Duncan to come along. He, he wants to. He's just concerned about the whole insurance thing. He can't get insurance right now. So if anything happened, we'd be a bit screwed, basically. Like, that's a risk I'm willing to take, because I would rather live than live in fear. Uh, but yeah, Doug's, Doug's just concerned. The reason they're not, not giving out any, any insurance right now is because people aren't supposed to be traveling. And obviously the COVID thing is probably very scary for insurance companies. This little guy, or big guy, keeps trying to hump my leg. Why are you trying to hump my leg so bad? No, don't do it. Stop. 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 It. Stop. 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 You're ridiculous. Stop it. Don't. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Stop that. I came out here to hang out with you and being, being too overly sexual. So I made it to South Wales. I am here staying with my sister. It's nice to be here. I was just hanging out here with the dog and they were like, why didn't you go in the hot tub? Like, this thing's turned on. <laughs> sure. 35 degrees Celsius. Yes, please. <laughs> nice. It is nice. I'm filming this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to post it because my MacBook's been having issues. It kind of started last night. My laptop overheated and then crashed. And then when it rebooted, the internet won't connect. So I don't know if I can even upload today, but I'll try my best. I looked at some tutorials on how to fix it. This happened before, and it's fixed itself. Yeah, it feels weird. I'm not in North Wales anymore. It just feels strange that I've finally left. Finally doing something. That was no 
not expecting this today. I was not expecting it. <laughs> Alright, I've not been able to fix my MacBook, so I don't know what to do. It's like nearly midnight and I've got another travel day tomorrow. I don't have the tools to like open this up and look at the hardware, but I've done all the software resolves and nothing's worked, so yeah, I'm a bit screwed now. I'll just continue this in the morning, I don't think I can post this tonight. <sighs> Alright, today we go down to the boat. Basically, we just got, we got here about an hour ago, and I've just been like trying to figure out the electrics and put stuff in the fridge. Got to be kind of quiet because people are sleeping in boats. But yeah, the sun's rising. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's rising back there. That's the boat. And uh, yeah, we leave. We're leaving. We're taking off. We're sailing in about two hours. So Duncan's asleep. My dad's awake. My sister's just dropped us off here. I'll fill you guys in tomorrow, but it's gonna be hectic. It's gonna be all hands on deck tomorrow because the weather's not gonna be great. Yeah, anyway, I'm in Gosport, which is near Southampton. It, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's near Portsmouth. I'm tired. I slept a little bit in the car, but I'm tired. It is Thursday, July 2nd. Is it? Is it Thursday, July 2nd? Yeah. R, baby, R. It's Thursday. We've R. been on the boat for 24 hours now, a little bit longer. Yesterday we arrived at 2 or 3 in the morning. Oh, we met a fox. I have footage of the fox. He's a very nice fox. He's very friendly. He sat with us and didn't like our trail mix. Yeah, not a vegan fox. No. I was talking about Duncan coming and ahhing about coming. Well, he, he's here. He came. He decided. R mateys. R. <laughs> permanent crew we've got one skipper who is basically doing all the hard work <laughs> and teaching us basically volunteering his time to help us move it the boat from here Portsmouth to Falmouth we tried to leave yesterday we woke up at 7 got everything ready started to uh, to get out into the ocean the ocean was quite choppy we tried to lift the mainsail and nothing happened the mainsail was stuck anything if you feel you're gonna fall scream so we can tape it and put it up <laughs> I mean, help you. This will be tight when I'm going up? Yes. Okay. Okay. So hold it like this. Yep. Wait up. That's on his way. Yeah. No, you're right. Okay. Can you guys see the... See how hectic this is? This is day one. Okay. It's done. One second, let me pull that line in. Stuck on that thing up there. So yeah, here's the boat from above. I don't know when I'm going to be up here again. Pretty cool, eh? It's my dad. That's Gregory, our skipper, Duncan. I would love to dive off of here, <laughs> into the water. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is day one. 
day one, we tried to sail and the, uh, the masters, the sailors are pulling, so we can't actually sail. went back into the harbour and I spent the whole day basically trying to fix the, the main sail. Uh, we had a bunch of different people come in harbours. I went up there twice to try and figure out if I could see what was wrong with it. One of the ropes had twisted itself inside the mast so we couldn't pull it down, we couldn't push it up. Dunk and I have replaced it with some string <laughs> for now and then later in the day we're buying some new rope to kind of replace it. Half of the rope was steel and the steel was like damaging the coil that turns everything inside. Sorry Jerry, hold on. We gotta go for a beer, we'll be back there. Oh. What's up dude? Got no food but... Yeah. The skipper, the guy that lives down here and has been helping us, he's on the boat right now actually. He's been just teaching Dunk and I how to do knots and really basic boat things. He's making us keep everything clean, uh, ship, shape. ship shape. I think we're going to take the boat on the ocean again today. So I wanted to kind of fill you in what happened yesterday because I, I didn't vlog so much. It was just kind of hectic and no sleep and just getting things done. Yeah, so that's, that's the end of day one. Day two begins in a minute. Exactly one minute. One minute. <laughs> Alright. See you tomorrow.